Hello, and in this video, you learn to set up Firebase and also test your knowledge by adding a Google login button to your React application. Without further ado, let's begin. First thing you need to do is go to firebase.com. In there, you can log in or sign up into your account and click get started. Once you're there, you can click create a project and you need to create a project name. I'll just call it first project. After that, you need to accept the terms and conditions and click continue. Also, I recommend clicking continue here to have analytics. Choose the location for your server and fully create the project. This will redirect you to console.firebase.com. In here, you can click the web development button and create the web app. Once again, give it a name. I can give it the same name. After that, you will get your credentials. Obviously, don't show them to anyone as there is an API key. You'll use this code later. Copy the link and paste it into another tab to go into your console. Scroll down and click on authentication. Here, you can click get started. Once you are inside, you can click Google login, although you can choose anyone. In here, you can do some setup, but mostly what you need to do is click enable. Next, configure the email, the support email, which is usually the one you logged in with and click save. This part is done. Now you can go into your Visual Studio code and create a Vite project. I'll call the folder Firebase app. You can call it whatever you like. Next, drag it into your Visual Studio code and there click trust the authors and open the terminal. In here, you'll create the app by running npm create evite at latest and click enter. Click Y if you need to install Vite once again and click dot slash, enter, choose React, then JavaScript. And after that, you can run npm install Fireship to install all the dependencies and Firebase. Once inside, you can create a new file called firebase.js. This file will contain most of our functionality. For this, we can go back to our browser into this file and copy the config and paste it all in here. We will need to make some minor changes. First of all, we do not need, need analytics for now, so we can remove them. Instead, we will need get auth to use authorization for the app. We can install it from Firebase slash auth. Also, you will need to change the bottom line, which will be get auth instead of get analytics. And we will also need to export all of this. So we can say export auth and app. Although, as you can see, auth is undefined because we actually need to change the name of the variable. Next, we can go to source and app.jsx. We'll be making our front end functionality. We can remove everything inside the app function, that component, and remove most of the imports except for the CSS. That doesn't mind us. And we can say import and in here, sign up with pop up or sign in with pop up rather. Next, we will also need Google Auth Provider. After that, all we need to do is create a button with all the functionality. The function that is going to provide the functionality is going to be called a handle Google login. It is going to be an arrow function, so nothing difficult. In here, we will need to do multiple things. First of all, make it async and say const result and actually call our sign in with pop-up. So say await sign in with pop-up and call the function with the auth and the provider. As you can see, we haven't made the provider yet. So we'll do that now. We can say const provider equals Google auth provider and call that function. So new Google auth provider. This is essentially all the functionality done. We can also make some console logs to check that everything has in fact worked correctly when the time is needed. So we can have a success message, for example, logged in successfully. Uh, it will not run if it fails, we will get an error otherwise. And we can also say const user, get ourselves the user. 
by saying result.user and console log that user. So we can see we got console log and the user variable. And this is essentially everything in terms of code done. All we need to do is press on click, then make the on click with the handle login function and give this button some text. So in my case, it's login with Google. Next, what we'll need to do is run the application. So run npm run dev in our terminal or command bar. Control click onto the link and you'll see the app and the login with Google button. And once you click it, it will show you this tab with all your accounts. Click on one of them, enter the password if needed. And as you can see, you're logged in. Nothing will show up yet, but that isn't a problem. As you can see, there were no exactly errors. So everything works. You can also go to your Firebase to check if it worked. If you go to the user tab, as you can see, the user has appeared. So yeah, we are completely done. As you can see, log the user has been logged in with the correct date, so everything has worked. We haven't added any other UI, but this was simply a technical video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.